your vlog and with the water what you doing today you can bet he'll have something to say i was watching videos on roku while ago sitting in the house one of my people i subscribed to put a video up with a runaway tank car rolled away from some place up there in Ohio and derailed. But it brings to mind a railroad story that similar to that. Working on the railroad it was constantly things would happen when you're dealing with real cars every day. Things that don't always go according to Hoyle. And I was recalling one time went out on what they call a road trip and some anyway we went on a road trip to repair rail cars. We got to this siding oh, out there in West Georgia somewhere. I forget exactly where we were. It was me and Eddie Murphy. Eddie's no longer with us. But the train crew had set out this loaded tri-level. Trapped by tri-level, I mean automobile carrier. It was parked a little bit too far from the where we could get to it with a truck. Now, I don't even remember exactly what was wrong with the car, but it had a defect we never suspected. To get the car moved up closer to the crossing where we could reach it with our big wheel truck, repair truck, bleed the air off the car, release the air brakes, release the handbrake, let the car roll down to where we needed it, and then put the handbrake back on. Well, the car had a defective handbrake and we didn't notice it. It was what they call pulling dead. In other words, completely wound up. It still wasn't applying the brakes tight enough to stop the car from moving. Well, I don't know it all me, getting in a hurry. Went up there and released the air brakes out of the piston where the air was all bled off the car. Eddie goes over there and knocks the handbrake off the car and it commits to roll. I said, wind the handbrake back up real quick. He's winding it back up and it's taking him too long. I went and got a wooden wedge off the back of the truck to stick under the wheel to stop it. What they call chalking the wheel. Well, by that time it was moving pretty good. It ran right over that wooden wedge and kept going. Eddie was up on the side of the car standing on the seal step cranking on that handbrake. He was fixing to jump off as he went by me. I threw another wooden wedge under there and it ran over that like it was a toy. By then, Eddie went by me going 10 or 15 miles an hour and he was going to jump off and I said, You keep whining on that handbrake, don't you let go. Don't you, uh, don't you quit. And he was whining for all he was worth, but he couldn't get any more out of it. I jumped in the truck and raced down the side of the, the road beside the tracks there. Threw some chains across the track blocks of wood, anything I could find to throw out there on the track that might stop the car. I threw this big old logging chain across the track and it caught and made the wheel start sliding and brought it to a slow stop about, oh, I'm going to say it wasn't 10 feet from the end of the track where it joins back onto the main line. And there's a derail there, so it would have just ran over the derail and derailed but I could just see our job disappearing down the road there. <laughs> oh, Eddie was hanging on to that car for dear life. But the, the car was loaded with new Corvettes. And I could just see that thing getting wrecked and derailed and me and Eddie be looking for a job. Oh, I could probably tell you a hundred little incidences like that. But that one came to mind this morning when they were showing that runaway car on YouTube. I could tell you a few instances that happened with some fire on some cars. But that'll have to do for today's story.